I have a feeling uh, the other people we're about to meet would love this shot. Sure. <laughs> we're talking about the El Dorado High School uh, team. They're home to a team of state champions. Sacra Gray is live meeting these talented teens. Hey, that's three times state champion three to you. Times. Okay, guys, let's hear it from the three times state champion. Well, good morning. Did that just wake you right up? Because we are joined with the El Dorado Alpine team, and they just secured their third state champion title in a row. So I figured we got to meet some of the kiddos that made it happen. Good morning. We have Marcus, aka Goose, with us this morning. So. Captain, tell us a little bit about how you guys were able to pull this thing off for the third year in a row. Well, I think a big part of it is teamwork, and we're like a family here. We really focus on everybody getting to know each other, camaraderie. That's our biggest pro our biggest deal. And then, I mean, just we're a bunch of great ski racers and boarders, so it, that also helps. <laughs> the confidence will, will make you win every single time, right? So. Obviously, at school, we don't have slopes in the background here. So you guys have to take time out of your weekends to make these practices happen. What does that look like for you? Well, every morning on Saturday morning, nice and early, we get to wake up and drive up to the mountain to do our favorite thing, ski race. But, I mean, these early mornings add up. and. So it's all about it's all about being nice and on top of your game. Yeah, the prep yeah. really paid definitely, off. Definitely. Okay, so we have Faith over here as well. So Faith, tell us what event you competed in. I did slalom and giant slalom. Um, I'm the captain of the snowboard team. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about how state went for you guys. I also heard you guys stayed in a big house together, so lots of team bonding right there. Right? A lot of team bonding, a lot of hanging out with each other, getting to know each other on a different level than what we get at school. We, it was just so much fun getting to compete against other schools we've never seen before and like meeting new people. Yeah, and it's an, it's an unconventional sport too, yeah. right? So it's, there's a little bit of solidarity there when you see the other teams from other schools. Yeah. So I heard you did an incredible job at state. Tell us how you did. I got eighth in state overall. <laughs> I'm, I got seventh in slalom and 11th in giant slalom. Well, congrats. We can't, and then you're a senior. Yes. Oh, so are, is this going to be something that you continue into college? I'll do it when I can and hang out with people when, whenever I want to, but it's probably not going to be a consistent thing as anymore, oh, which no. is a bummer. Oh, so it's but... bittersweet. Yeah. Oh, well then, okay, Landon, come on out here. So, you're also the captain of the snowboarding team. Yeah. The people need to know, what was the celebration meal after you guys took home the third state title? It was honestly leftovers. Leftovers. <laughs> Hi, and how was it staying in a big house with everybody? Because that the vibes must have been immaculate. Because hanging out with a bunch of skiers and snowboarders, I'm telling you, the energy is just different. <laughs> it was really fun. It was great to like get close to everyone and just like because we're my second family from home and it got closer and closer as we were at the house. Okay, and then finally we got to chit chat with the coach really quick because this wouldn't be possible without the coaches. Come on. sport that these kids have to be especially dedicated to do because they're not doing it at school every day after school. They have to be dedicated to show up on Saturdays. What's it been like for you to see it grow? Oh, it's been amazing. You know, I've uh, coached since 99. I came back after my uh, son came into high school and it's just a so Where's your son? Raise uh, your hand. He's right there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just I had a vision and we wanted to, you know, bring the culture of this back when I came back and it's just this is the result of what we've done and their their hard work, their dedication, showing up to dry land and showing up to the mountain every weekend is um, this is what we get. So yeah. And then finally, what do you want to say to your competitors who are going to be kind of shaking in their boots when they come <laughs> against you next year? Well, if it wasn't for all the competitors that we get to race against all winter long, we wouldn't be where we were. So truly, it is um, a wonderful team effort, and it goes beyond our own team. It's a really awesome community for kids to participate in, so we're really thankful um, to have this end result. Well, congratulations, guys. You guys will be the state champions for the third year in a row, and then next year, you better watch out.
for them. They're going for the fourth. Let's do so, it. We're here in Placerville, El Dorado High School. These kiddos got to head to class sometime soon. <laughs> so, I'm so great. I love the spirit. So good. Thank you, Sakura. Mm -hmm.